Now, I can't really go any further into this programme without mentioning the sad loss of that great broadcaster and friend, Steve Wright, uh, last week. The initial shock uh, was considerable, but, of course, since then we've been able to hear many tributes paid to his professionalism, his ability, his inventiveness. Uh, at this stage, I, I would like to remember the, the character of the man. I think it was no exaggeration, and I think he'd probably be quite pleased to be called an eccentric. Uh, I don't think there's any much doubt about that. And uh, one of the, the facets of that was that he kept what amounted to a well-stocked pharmacy in his studio, <laughs> all sorts of stuff in there. In fact, once when Cher came in for an interview, she said straight away, oh, I've got a blocked nose. And Steve reached into his cupboard and produced uh, a bottle of Vicks Vapor Rub and told her to stuff that under her nose, which she duly did and continued with the interview. Uh, apparently, she loved the whole thing. Of course, he had a great connection with his audience. He knew what they liked. If they liked a song, he would play it. And then the inventiveness would show when uh, things like this, uh, a song by Carly Rae Jepsen, uh, he wanted to give the impression that it was interrupting his programme all the time, so he invented the Carly Rae Jepsen klaxon whenever this was played. We don't have the klaxon, but we do have the song to remember the great Steve Wright. Just break off, if I may, for a moment to make an announcement, and I'll try not to become emotional or self-indulgent. This is going to be a little bit difficult. At the end of September, I'll be taking a break from daytime radio. Uh, in other words, stepping down from this program. At the beginning of this year, my friend and boss, Helen Thomas, head of Radio 2, said she wanted to do something different in the afternoons. Now, I've been doing this program for 24 years at Radio 2, and so how can I possibly complain? The support and creative freedom that I'm given is fantastic at Radio 2. And really, I can't hog the slot forever. So let's give somebody else a go. Uh, the great news is onwards and upwards, I'm staying at the BBC and Radio 2 to do some very exciting brand new digital projects and develop... Radio DJ Steve Wright has died aged 69. I think he was one of the best radio DJs that this country has ever seen. Here are five reasons why. His unique style. Steve's quirky style for presenting radio set him apart from all the others. He effortlessly blended humour, wit and charm, which captivated listeners and made him instantly recognisable. Number two, his broad appeal. Wrighty's ability to engage with diverse audiences, spanning different age groups and backgrounds, contributed to his widespread popularity and long-lasting influence in the radio industry. Number three, his creative segments. He introduced innovative segments like factoids and non-stop oldies keeping listeners entertained and coming back for more. Number four, musical knowledge. Steve Wright's musical knowledge was second to none, enabling him to curate eclectic playlists that appealed to a wide range of tastes, enhancing the listening experience for his audience. Number five, longevity and consistency. With a career spanning some four decades, Steve Wright consistently delivered high quality entertainment, building a loyal fan base and earning recognition as one of the best DJs of all time. Rest in peace, Steve Wright.